My name is Susan Willman. I'm a physician at the Reproductive Science Center. My special interest in the practice are um, egg donation and a pre-implantation genetic testing. The most common question I get asked is, you know, Dr. Wellman, what would you do? Um, sometimes I don't answer that question directly because I'm not the patient and my needs are different than their needs. What I try to do is understand where they're coming from and give them a realistic expectation of what they can achieve with the infertility treatments and then help them come to the best decision for them, a good fit for them. The biggest change I've seen in the years that I've been practicing medicine is that people are embracing in vitro fertilization more quickly than they used to. So 10 and 15 years ago, people were much more skeptical about the use of medications and the in vitro fertilization technique. But as years have passed and we've had greater successes with a good safety profile, um, patients are um, much more willing to give in vitro fertilization a try and move to that treatment more quickly and as a result, I think have had more successes too. I would say the most rewarding part of my job is being there for patients, um, having the one-on-one -on -one relationship with them, learning their story, what their special interests, special needs are, and being able to respond to them and help them resolve their problems. The traits that I think I would like patients to know most about me is that I'm there for them. Um, I often get the feedback that I'm quite serious, and that might be hard to interpret, but I really want to do the best job for everybody. And if a patient needs me, I am available. And I, I work hard to make sure that all tests are done properly, that results are reported properly, that all patients are called back, and that all their needs are met. So I'm really there for you. Infertility is typically the first medical challenge that a couple has ever faced. And I think that the best advice I could give to couples about facing that challenge is to be open. In my years of experience, patients that stay open to new ideas, alternatives to becoming a parent, they're the ones that are ultimately successful. So if your goal is that you want to become a parent, I'll say to you, you will achieve that goal as long as you stay open to new ideas and alternatives.